Hello, my name is Jonathan Bisnett, and in this video I'm going to talk about rectification. Uh, in fact, what I'm going to look at is a uh, full wave bridge rectifier and ultimately uh, take it through a voltage regulator and get out a, a fairly clean 5 volt signal. But anyway, to start, what I've got is here is a transformer. And uh, if we look, I've, I'm running the signal in through a function generator. We're putting in uh, approximately 1 kilohertz at uh, uh, right now, if I look at the wave on that, we're putting in about uh, the, the, vo the voltage divisions on this, I'm sorry, are about 5 volts. So we're putting in about 20 volts peak to peak into this, uh, into this transformer. Uh, if I then go and look at the, uh, the outputs uh, out of this transformer, let's see, we flip over here, we'll see that what we're actually getting out of here, again, there are 5 volt divisions, is almost 40 volts peak to peak. Uh, the transformer, transformer is about a 2 to 1 on the windings. Uh, so we're getting out uh, a much larger voltage signal through the transformer. And if I mix the two signals so you see them both together, you'll see that what we actually get is, is a signal that's actually 180 degrees out of phase across the transformer. So this is, uh, this is the signal that we're going to feed into uh, our bridge rectifier. So, all right, I've added the rectifier into the... Uh, the, the bridge rectifier into my circuit here now. So you'll see in this case I have a DF01M uh, and I've taken the outputs uh, from the uh, transformer, run them into that and then I've put a uh, 15K ohm resistor across the uh, rectifier as a, a load. And if we go look at our output you'll now see that what we've got is a, uh, a the output of the bridge rectifier. So in this case now our waveform is all on the positive side of the zero uh, of, of zero. The waveforms have been uh, basically flipped over when they go negative they've been flipped over to the positive side so we're getting uh, constant uh, cycles out of the uh, constant waves out of the uh, rectifier. Now, to begin giving you a feel for this, you'll see we've got our uh, we've got our output. If I go and put a capacitor here across the positive and negative portions of our uh, rectifier here to begin smoothing those out, what you'll see this is not a huge one, but you'll see the waveform now holds. The, the capacitor, you can see, picks up charge and gradually re uh, releases it a little bit to start, in essence, smoothing that wave. If I pull it back out, you'll see we get the whole thing. So I put it in, you'll see how the capacitor begins to affect it. And if I were to put in an even larger capacitor, it would potentially almost go flat. At this point, I've gone ahead and added a voltage regulator. You'll see that right here that uh, little TO92 package there. It's a 78L05, so it's a 5 volt regu uh, voltage regulator. I've got uh, the cap still in there, so we've taken the positive and negative values off of our uh, uh, bridge rectifier, run them into the, uh, the inputs of the voltage regulator, and then we have the ground and the output of the voltage regulator coming over here and going through our uh, 15K resistor load. And what you'll see now is if we go look at the scope, you'll see we've got, uh, we've got something close to, to 5 volts here, uh, but uh, we've got that little tiny ripple in it, and that's because of that capacitor that we put in there. It isn't, it isn't totally filling it up. In fact, if I take the capacitor out, you'll see that we get, we get the bigger drops in the, in the piece. So if I instead now go in and let's put in, in that case, that was a, a 0 0.039 microfarad. Let's put in a, a, point, a 
a one microfarad capacitor and you'll see what happens here. Actually my signal appears to disappear but what I'm going to have to do is put it into normal mode so we, I mean into uh, auto mode so we can actually see it but what you'll see now is that with our 5 volt division here's our center line we actually have a nice clean 5 volt DC signal coming out of this. So, so what you'll see now is we've got uh, the signal that comes into our, our transformer, uh, which we said was about 20 volts peak to peak. We have 40 volts peak to peak coming out, and I did measure that, and what I get, um, voltage RMS, if I look at that being 40 volts peak to peak, it's actually 20 volts peak, and if I take 0.707, I get about 14 volts or so, and when I measured it, I get 13.9, something like that, and as I said, on the meter, it's approximately 40 volts peak to peak. So it's right in the ballpark. Uh, coming out of the rectifier, we use the, the one microfarad capacitor uh, to clean up our signal, to carry the, the voltage across the, uh, uh, the gaps in the, in the uh, waveform. And then from there, we feed into the 78L05, which is basically cutting it off right at 5 volts and then we're good we go out to our load so we're getting 5 volts to the load nice clean DC signal so that's uh, that's the full wave bridge rectifier uh, out to 5 volts so I hope you found this interesting thank you